I've added a book here to my Moodle course to show the various options for adding video to your website. I'm going to have four videos in this series, Dropbox, Google Drive, YouTube and uploaded videos. So to just to turn my editing on my book, down here under settings you see book administration, I'm going to turn my editing on, which is the same as going back to your course page, turning editing on and then returning to your book. Here I'm going to embed from Dropbox. Dropbox is turning out to be quite a fantastic little resource repository. So I'll edit this page and show you how I'll embed a video from there. Now on the toolbar you've got this little icon, Moodle Media. Click on that and then you'll see Find or Upload a Sound Video Applet. Click on that. Then the file picker will be wherever you were last. I'm going to go to Dropbox. If you're not logged in already you'll be asked to log in. Then just go down and log in if you have to. If it knows you're already logged in, then you just need to allow. And the nice thing about Dropbox, it'll only show you the video file, so you click on it. Now the one that works is this bottom one. Okay, Create an alias shortcut. This means that the copy is remaining on Dropbox and you're just getting a shortcut to it. The first one isn't a good idea because we're trying to avoid that. And the second one doesn't seem to work. So select and insert. Now you won't see a video there until you save it. So save changes and you're done. And that's all for embedding from Dropbox. Very simple. And here's an extra little tip. If you're not interested in resizing this video then don't worry about watching further painful thing about using this QuickTime plugin is that you cannot resize it. There's no button here to watch in full screen or what have you. But here's a little trick. I'm going to edit this. Then what you do is you go to the HTML and at the end of the href, so at the end of the address of the video, you type the following. Question mark D, D for dimensions, equals, then put the width, times the height. So I've gone for uh, the standard 640 by 480. So I put in question mark D equals 640 by 480. Update. Now remember you're only going to see the video when you save changes and there's the larger video.